All right, Molo Sambonani, hello, how's it? Welcome to the Big Daddy Liberty Show. This, the four-part special on the channel, the What South Africa Can Be Tour. This is round two of the tour. This time we're talking to you, trying to get a sense of do you feel like the country is on the right track? Seeing that, we've had a few changes. What changes are you talking about, Big Daddy? Well, of course, in government. We now have a government of national unity. And I asked you in the first episode, is that the beginning of a better South Africa? Can we, as ordinary citizens, prompt the sort of reforms and policy change that will serve all South Africans in a non-racial way? Can South Africa be a prosperous, free, property-earning and non-racial society? That's the question I'm going to pose to you on the streets of South Africa on this the What South Africa Can Be Tour. Now, let me just quickly say this. This, of course, campaign is in conjunction with the Institute of Race Relations. Thank you to our partners over there. And indeed, this is part of the conversation we need to now have. What do you want to see this GNU achieve? And more than just the GNU, what should we as South Africans be doing to ensure that we get a South Africa that can be? Join me. We're currently in Soweto. Let's get the conversation going. What changes would you like to see happen in the country? Firstly, do you have hope now that there's this new government? I do, I do. I do have hope uh, because uh, at least they have changed. I'm, um, I'm a ministers and then, mm -hmm. yeah, they have ch there's a lot of change in the government lately, but in the the thing that I would firstly like to do mm. or would see a change in, in the whole of South Africa is corruption. Yes, yes. Corruption must change. And um, they must add more who, who education. Education is the key to success. Mm. And then by a failure somehow, somehow, because they, they sometimes bad niggas a certain percentage, um, like he, he, he is and as far as mm. to abandon and then end up abandoning and then not getting it. Mm. And then uh, remember, we come from different household. Finally, I mean, uh, uh, through cosmic and mutual like community middle lens, mm. so opening me in bona in bona in the negative like society in it through cause the youth yala I mean I look in lang shala corner mm. like majority seven summer tracks. Mm -hmm. uh, he or me, I intervene at Sandu Guti like a government yet in Shambe, being as a Muguti like a sense of little parents cause like a matraxi maning a look she. Yeah. Uh, we all know that uh, for the problem of jobs. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Crime. Mm. Maybe they'll solve those problem of uh, corruption. Mm. Maybe they will come with they will come up with another solution. Absolutely. Everyone is struggling. Unemployment. Like but mm. like yo, what has like mm. Like Lord Armohai, like Retos Colomar, like Arcono Tolamisavit, like if you tell me it's a connection, like government must do something about it. Mm. We can just have more opportunities that are benefiting mostly our our, our communities. Mm. And the I would like to say the what? The community that serves the the, the government that says they will serve the community. So we need those um, we need those solutions. unemployment, mm -hmm. especially youth, um, and also if they could change the uh, when when you're 35, mm -hmm. uh, you are not hired. Uh, mm -hmm. M7s in it's killing it's 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 killing people. You mm -hmm. know, a lot of people are, are becoming un unemployed yes. and. Uh, EUC is, is resorting to, to, to drugs mm. uh, as a matter of uh, unemployment. Mm. Drug problem. Mm. And I, I mean, I mean like the kids, the generation is just getting finished, you know. Mm. I mean, I'm, I'll be honest with you. Mm. If we ever were to, like, we need to be free, not in the sense of being free to do anything wrong, mm -hmm. but, you know, like, like you know, motivational, you know, like mm. future, especially for the young generation. Because mm. mm. I'm, I'm, I'm an old man, you know, mm. I'm, I, but I so wish that you know everybody could live in peace harmony because i believe in one thing mm. i don't believe in terms of black white i believe in human race Absolutely. at least i wish and dream for a south africa with no crime mm. Mm. that is my core uh, what you call mm. resonant to this uh, whole question mm. 
But having said that, we are the one, as the citizenship, who have to exercise that first. Government cannot give us that. Fully if agree. China, we don't interact with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But just to, for, for the sake of other things mm -hmm. that you have asked indirect, mm -hmm. we have the best country in the mm -hmm. world. Let me assure you, we have the best. It's just that we cannot be perfect because of we are human beings. Mm -hmm. But about anything, mm. I'm fine, I'm not fine, because there are other people who are poor, mm. there are other people who are not poor. Mm. All right, that wraps up the first episode of us being out on the streets in this four-part series on what South Africa can be. You heard it from ordinary South Africans. The intent, the purpose of this campaign is to speak to ordinary South Africans and ask two intertwined questions. One, what can South Africa be? Two, of that, is the GNU, for example, a first step in that direction and beyond the GNU? What do ordinary South Africans say that they want? This is a campaign that speaks to our patriotism as South Africans, asking the questions of how do we build a free, prosperous, non-racial and property-earning South Africa? What are the issues that must be tackled, therefore, to achieve that South Africa? We'll keep the conversation going in other parts of uh, Gauteng. We'll head over to Pretoria, Hammanskrau and inner city Johannesburg to talk to you, the ordinary South African. Let me just do some quick housekeeping here and thank the Institute of Race Relations for joining me in this campaign. To be brutally honest with you, I am listening to you, South Africans, both as an individual and as Big Daddy 